Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eric Avila. I'm actually an environmental engineering associate here at the Hyperion Water Reclamation Plant. I graduated from Cal State Los Angeles in 2016, so about a year ago, I was sitting where you are today. Um, one of the favorite things about working here at Hyperion is, if you look to your right, I have the beach right in front of me. And if you see that bridge that crosses the street, it's actually a private entrance into the beach. So you can always take a break and go to the beach and come back whenever you want. Uh, using your student, I mean your employee badge. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about the student engineering program because I actually started off as a student engineer three years ago. The purpose of the student engineering program is to place students like yourself alongside with working professionals to expose you to our projects and give you hands-on experience. This will help you develop and cultivate your engineering skills and capabilities and prepare you for a job with us here in Alley Sanitation. The student engineering program is broken into various levels, one through four, based on your standing as a student. This is a year-round program. It's important to note that we don't usually hire just for the summer, and that's because our programs and our projects are actually year-round and ongoing. So we want you to be here all year with us. Uh, we allow you up to 950 hours per, week, per year, sorry, and you can break that. <laughs> and you can break that up into about 20 hours a week. We do have a very flexible schedule. We understand that school should be your number one priority. So if you need to take time off to finish a project or have a test, you can do that. We have a very competitive um, compensation schedule, which ranges from $17 up to $28 an hour. So that's a lot more than minimum wage, right? It's really, it's really good. Some of the duties and responsibilities of a student engineer, you may be wondering, well, what am I going to be doing as a student engineer? Uh, this can range from planning, collecting data, investigating, um, any data anomalies, participating in meetings, and preparing outreach materials for um, different events and whatnot. When I started off as a student engineer, I was actually a part of the on-site wastewater treatment systems programs, uh, commonly known as septic systems. How many of you know what those are? Okay, so quite a few of you. There's actually about 14,000 of those here in the city of LA, and what they are are private septic systems that treat wastewater in homes that are not connected to the sewer system. So there's approximately 14,000 properties that are not connected to the city sewer system. We have an extensive network of sewers, about approximately 6,700 miles. But there's a lot of people that are not connected. So my responsibilities as a student engineer was recording how many properties we have, communicating with these homeowners, and providing them information on how to connect. So I would check our city uh, sewer network on a map and see where the nearest point of connection was developing cost estimates and providing them information on how much it costs to connect and how they would go about obtaining permits to connect and so on and so forth. And, oh yes. Uh, they have an on-site wastewater treatment. So they, um, it's like a septic tank. It's similar to our primary treatment where it just settles there in, either in the backyard. And it percolates into the soil and that treats it, yeah. So what are the requirements to become a student engineer? You must be currently enrolled in uh, full time, either as a civil, chemical, environmental, and be 18 years of age. You don't need to have too much experience. We will provide all the training on site. So that's one of the benefits of our program. Um, and you must submit an application, of course. So what are the benefits of becoming a student engineer? Well, you gain valuable experience while you're studying. Uh, you apply what you learned inside the classroom, outside of the classroom. And you also learn new things. So when I was taking my civil engineering classes, I didn't really know about septic systems until I started working for the city. So every day I was learning new things that I wasn't necessarily learning in the classroom, and that really benefited me. Um, you gain extra income to help cover the costs associated with being a student, of course. And like I mentioned earlier, we have a very flexible schedule around your classes and exams. And another one of these benefits also is that it really does give you a leg up on the competition. When you become a student engineer, you're already familiar with the various programs that the city has in place. And when you go into interviews, they're very impressed that you know all of, all of these programs and um, projects that they're involved with. So how do I apply? If all of you are interested, you can download a city application on our website and submit it with your most recent copy of transcripts to our SAN personnel at LACity.org website. And it's actually on the application itself, the instructions on how to apply. And with that, I'd like to thank you for your time and open the floor up for any questions that you may have.